travelingmail.com. Hello, travelers. How are you today? Uh, we have had a pretty good day so far. Started out in Tikal, and I didn't film the motel there, the hotel there, even though it was pretty nice, the Tikal Inn. Uh, just because it was, oh my god, hot and overwhelming with all the ruins and temples and everything and wildlife. In any case, I just wanted to give you kind of an update today. Well, when we rolled into the call, the bus situation was hot and crowded. Uh, some people came in, said, you're going to call. Yeah, we raised our hand, pulled us off, got us into some cars, and then gave us the hard sell on tours and shuttle buses and buses from Tikal up to where we are now, or over to where we are now in outside of San Ignacio, Belize. Uh, we were like, we were hot, we were tired, and we just decided, well, you know, I think our total output would have been about, about $180. And we are like, well, we can risk it. Got up there. The next morning, we're sitting in the lobby at 4.30 when we're supposed to be there, wondering, are we even gonna have this guide show up? But 4.45, no guide. Uh, we're starting to sweat it, like, oh my gosh, did we waste all this money? Uh, but at 4.50 or something like that, our guide comes in, picks us up, takes us over to the gate. We, get, we meet another guide. We go in to Temple 4 at a very brisk pace to see the sunrise from Temple 4. It was cloudy, but it was awesome. It was still amazing. Uh, today, the bus situation, supposed to have somebody pick us up at 7.30, and up comes this <laughs> rather large bus, sort of like a shuttle bus, pulls up, takes us in, waits for us, for with us, for 20 minutes where we pick up our next bus, and unlike the bus on the way up to Tikal, which was about 65 people in a bus meant for, I think, 42 seats I counted, uh, with no AC, no bathroom, no nothing, this bus had about 10 people on it, 12 people on it, for 42, had AC, had Wi-Fi, had a bathroom that we didn't bother using, and it was just, it was luxury compared, I mean, it was still old and beaten up, but it was luxury compared to the other day. Um, so, you know, we gambled. Sometimes you gamble and lose. This time we gambled and won. And uh, it was uh, this gal Libby, I'm gonna write up a little TripAdvisor review for. Um, and it was, it just worked out the way it's supposed to work. And I love travel days like that. Uh, makes up a lot for the travel days that don't work up like that. Anyway, we are now in the Table Rock Jungle Lodge you know, outside of San Ignacio, Belize. And it is the opposite end of the spectrum from where we were in Antigua and in Rio Dulce and where else we go, Ocopan. Uh, you know, it's the opposite of the hostel route. It is made beds, separate bedrooms, bathrooms, you know, fresh towels. It is wonderful. Though the only downside is it is unbelievably hot. Oh my God, it's so humid. But we are going down to the river, which we are just arriving at actually, since I'm so long-winded. And Finn and Anders and I are gonna go for a swim and cool off. And then we'll go back up to the room, shower off and have some dinner and a cold beer. So we're looking forward to that very, very much. Um, I think this is where we go. So I'm gonna sh show you the river and then we're gonna go dive in. It's awesome. I love how these kids didn't even hesitate to get in the water of a jungle river. Anders, tell me about swimming in the river. Hello, this is your reporter, Traveling Anders, and today a weirdo spectator has asked me to tell him about uh, playing in the river. And it's really wet, and the current's kind of strong on that side, but not strong on this side, and shallow. And Finn was there, so uh, automatic one point deduction, I mean one point plus one point addition, so blah blah blah. And it was pretty cool. Bye. 
Anders, was it warm? Was it nice feel getting in the river when it was so hot? Okay, another weirdo spectator asked me if it was nice getting in the river when it was so hot, and yes, it was. Mic drop. Bye. That's Belize for beer, mate. Uh-huh. Do I get that? One thing I told Daddy couldn't use a clip of me saying something silly. Alright, we had another lovely breakfast this morning and uh, after a day floating yesterday, we're taking a, kind of an easier day today. We have signed up for two of the canoes um, that are available here at the lodge free of charge. You just have to sign them out, read the manuals or the rules or whatever. And uh, we are going to head up to another lodge that has a bar, some snacks and also a Blue Morpho Butterfly Breeding Center. Um, and so we're gonna take a look at that and see the river and just have a lazy day today. Um, we gotta do a little bit of work this morning and then, you know, we gotta keep the kids entertained and busy a little bit as well. Uh, but this is, should be a good activity, keep limbs moving and uh, also not be too intense which is kind of what i'm looking forward to today we got about a 500 yard walk down to the river and uh from there we'll figure the rest out i guess it's super heavy and i'm not gonna carry it again i don't think what do you think about that melinda <laughs> i think it was fine but i think it was um the heaviest canoe i've ever lifted Try that one. now we're gonna paddle it upstream <laughs> Okay, after a strenuous paddle upstream and a mildly stressful rapid to get through, we are at the lodge at Chaw Creek. Uh, we have a butterfly farm, butterfly farm, rainforest medicine trail, and natural history center. And some cool bamboo forest here, or whatever this is. Ooh, it's hot. We're gonna grab a drink, maybe see the butterflies, and have, uh, maybe a snack. Then we'll head back downstream, which will be a lot easier.
just went into a building kind of thing. It's like a greenhouse, but it is full of butterflies. Like, wow. And uh, they're mainly blue morphos, but there are a few owl butterflies, and they have different patterns, and it's pretty cool. Yeah, so they're raising blue morpho butterflies here as an educational thing because uh, there's plenty of them in the wild. But it is pretty neat to go in there and see them all fluttering around with that iridescent blue. It's pretty pre- pretty so pretty. Many. There were a lot of them weren't there. Did they eat you? And somehow I managed to get over my bugophobia, and butterflies I survived without kind of getting different. eaten. <laughs> They're not carnivorous blue morphos. We're gonna see those later today. Blah 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 blah. Ben, what do you think? You think? Oh, I was thinking that I said I wanted to be in the background. Mm-hmm. That was a nice uh, hot paddle. The water was a lot higher on the way back. Um, came went really quickly, uh, but we're back. We got our boats chained up, and everybody's going for a cooling off swim. Not sure what the afternoon actually is going to hold on hold for us. Uh, we were thinking about tubing, but I'm not sure that's going to happen. We'll see. Uh, in any case, we're having a great time, and I guess that's probably what matters most. <laughs> walk outside our hostel on their property there's this amazing orange grove and you can pick whatever you want but you have to either eat it or give it to the donkeys day at Table Rock Jungle Lodge. We're getting ready to head off east, not very far, um, but we've had a really cool time here. Um, it's a beautiful property and it's nice just to kind of hang out and um, a good change from the hostel life. Definitely several steps up. The food is great, everyone's super super nice and like I said it's just beautiful. The property is beautiful, the buildings are beautiful, and the river is beautiful. So, thanks for coming along. We hope you will give us a thumbs up and leave a comment and share with your friends and other people who you don't even know, maybe. Um, And then come back and watch another video.